hey everyone welcome to windy studio and welcome to the brand new tutorial for photoshop and in this tutorial we'll be covering a lot of tips and tricks to create a simple design on photoshop so without any further ado let's start with the video let's create a composition first so for that go to file create a new and i will go for uh, 1080 1350 and resolution let's keep it as 300 color more rgb color bit 16 and i'll just keep everything default and let's create and click and right off that i will create a new solid and let's give a solid or something like a darker yellowish color maybe something like this uh, now let's drag and drop this image over here let's uh, convert it to the smart object so for that right click convert to smart object now let's make it a little smaller Control G. Yep, around this size uh, right now, okay. let's make it a little smaller Control G something like that now let's create a new layer and go to oh, brush and this time I will go for uh, this brush you can download this brush from the description list below and let's rotate it by a little bit and maybe squeeze it a little bit I think this is let's make it maybe something like that all right now let's uh, Add a split paint strokes, something like that. And let's create a layer max and make sure the color is black and just to create some. Yep. Yeah. Let's do something in the bottom. Uh, all right now let's go back to the brush again and this time I will go for uh, Splatter brush and you can download this brush from the description list below too let's Go for Maybe this brush and let's go for a completely white one. I'll just go and create a new layer Let's make some splatter Maybe somewhere over here. Let's go for another brush Let's create a rectangle and for this one I don't want fill and for this stroke I'll just make it like 5 pixel stroke and let's drag and draw a rectangle and let's just increase this stroke size by 6 pixel maybe 16 pixel let's see how it looks Uh, maybe some more. Let's make it around. I think uh, this is looking pretty good. Now let's go over. Let's go and let's create a one more layer. Uh, let's go to back to brush. Uh, let's go for another splatter brush. Maybe this one. Let's increase the brush size. go and let's create one more brush let's squeeze it a little bit let's see how it looks and let's rotate it a little bit maybe some more all right and let's go over and let's add a max just to give some kind of variation and uh, now let's change the opacity a little bit and let's add some over here now let's go and let's add some text so go to the text uh, then let's make this text a little bigger Control t now let's make a copy Control j Control t let's move it a little up maybe 
somewhere over here and let's add a stroke go here add a stroke and this time i'll just go for inside the stroke and for the fill let's drop down the fill maybe stroke size is too big let's drop down the stroke size okay i think this is looking pretty good now let's move it a little up right click let's uh rasterize this layer and right click convert to smart offset now let's create a layer max and let's add some selection and let's fill it with black Control g let's move it a little up and again let's make a copy Control j let's move this a little up and then for this one i will add a little bit of selection and let's fill it fill that with black again and control g let's make a copy control j let's move it a little up now let's make a one more copy control j and let's uh, delete the layer max and let's move that all the way to the bottom maybe somewhere over here let's create a max and press ctrl shift i to make it more selection and let's create a layer max let's move it a little down maybe around here and let's make a copy ctrl j and let's move it a little down and let's add a selection maybe somewhere over here and go to the layer max and let's fill it with black Control D and now let's make a one more copy. Control J. Now let's move it a little down, maybe something like that. Mm, Alright, maybe for the middle one I'll just add a stroke and let's see how it looks. Go over here, add a stroke and let's drop down the fill. And let's move it a little up. Uh, all right, I think this is uh, looking pretty good. Now let's do some color adjustment for the main image. So go over here, select the image, and let's go to filter, go to camera raw filter, drop down the highlights, increase the shadows, uh, increase the texture, increase the clarity. That's what I like to do, and maybe drop down the vibrance a little bit. I think the texture is too much. Maybe drop down the texture a little bit. Increase the shadow a little bit. Alright, now let's go to the detail tab. Increase the noise reduction. Increase the color, color noise reduction too. And then let's increase the sharpening a little bit. And now go to the color mixture. And let's uh, drop down the orange and let's drop down the yellow a little bit and maybe drop down the blue a little bit and increase for red and for the luminance let's drop down the red luminance and let's drop down the blue luminance and let's go over here and drop down the highlight some more and increase the clarity i think this is pretty good for now let's click on ok so yep this is what we have now let's make a copy just for safety and i'll just turn off the visibility for the layer one and let's select go to the copy layer go to select go to select and let's go for a color range and from here i'll just go for skin tones let's increase a little bit all right and now let's create a layer max so yep and maybe just increase the feather a little bit and let's add a curve Create a clipping max. Let's turn on the visibility for the bottom one and let's increase uh, just to add some brightness on the face. So I think this is 
uh, 3D okay for now now let's go let's add some um, other textures over here so let's go over here add a new layer go to press and let's go for let's see maybe this one is good maybe rotate it and let's add some texture maybe somewhere over here let's increase the opacity a little bit some over here maybe somewhere over here now let's merge all these layers so select this on the top and press ctrl shift alt and e and let's make a copy ctrl j now go to filter and go to the neural filter this is the new filter and I'm, I'm really loving it it's really nice one and I'll just turn on this skinny smoothing and increase the smoothness maybe around 22 looks good and after that go to the style transfer and let's turn this on and click on so more so there are a lot of options to choose so I will just go for maybe let's see how it looks like let's go for this one or maybe this one i think this is better so i'll just go for this one and let's click on preserve color so that our main color remains same and click on focus object maybe let's increase the strength to maybe around 94 95 and what about the brush size maybe let's decrease the brush size a little bit all right now just leave the uh, just other as a default and just click on ok so this is what we have now let's change the blending more to soft light or hard light maybe i'll just go for soft light so if you think it's too much you can do drop down the opacity a little bit now let's add a text so I'll go over here that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video